Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church. Today is Tuesday. It's January the 30th. It's time for our daily devotion. I'm Deaconess Intern Claire. We are going to be doing early evening on Lutheran Service Book, page 297. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up as, of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory. Of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, we are in Zechariah chapter 9 today. We are starting at verse 1. The word of the Lord against the land of Hadrach and will rest upon Damascus. For the eyes of men and all the tribes of Israel are on the Lord. And upon Hamath too, which borders on it, and upon Tyre and Sidon, though they are very skillful. Tyre has built herself a stronghold. She has heaped up silver like dust and gold like the dirt of the streets. But the Lord will take away her possessions and destroy her power on the sea, and she will be consumed by fire. Ashkelon will see it in fear, Gaza will writhe in agony, and Ekron too, for her hope will wither. Gaza will lose her king, and Ashkelon will be just deserted. Foreigners will occupy Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. I will take the blood from their mouths, the forbidden food from between their teeth. Those who are left will belong to our God and become leaders in Judah, and Ekron will be like the Jebusites. But I will defend my house against marauding forces. Never again will oppressor overrun my people, for now I am keeping watch. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt the foal of a donkey. I will take away the chariots from Ephraim and the war horses from Jerusalem, and the battle bow will be broken. He will proclaim peace to the nations, his rule will extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. Return to your fortress, O prisoners of hope. And now I announce that I will restore twice as much to you. I will bend Judah as I bend my bow and fill it with Ephraim. I will rouse your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and make you like a warrior's sword. Then the Lord will appear over them. His arrow will flash like lightning. The sovereign Lord will sound the trumpet. He will march in the storms of the south, and the Lord Almighty will shield them. They will destroy and overcome with sling stones. They will drink and roar with wine. They will be full like a bowl used for sprinkling the corners of the altar. The Lord their God will save them on that day as the flock of his people. They will sparkle in his land like jewels in a crown. How attractive and beautiful they will be. Grain will make the young men thrive, and new wine, the young women. All right, so there's several different headings that are used here in this chapter of Zechariah. Uh, it begins with judgment against the enemies. And so a lot of these enemies are those who are close to the coastline of Israel along the Mediterranean coast. Some of these cities today are even cities within is Israel itself like Ashkelon and Ashdod, those are two cities in modern Israel. But back in those times, they were probably occupied by the Philistines. And so God is threatening judgment upon them, upon you know, the famous cities of Tyre and Sidon, uh, these nations that have opposed God and his people, that God will finally bring judgment down on them. Then we have this section uh, that reminds us or that, that points to the coming of Jesus into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, that this is the coming of, of Jerusalem's king, or Zion's king, as it says. And so we have this prophecy that's read on Palm Sunday to remind us that, that Jesus comes on a donkey, and that's supposed to indicate that he's humble, that he's coming in peace, uh, that he is coming, as, as many kings do, uh, riding on a, a donkey into a city. And... Uh, we also have some language here about uh, the blood of the covenant and Jesus or, or God restoring Jerusalem, restoring his people, 
uh, that maybe they have been vanquished or in exile or conquered by another people and that God is going to restore them. And then in the end, that, that God himself uh, appears and that, that God himself appears to save his people. Which So we have things here that are predicted to happen in the New Testament, like on Palm Sunday. And then we have things that go all the way to, to Revelation when the Lord appears uh, to vindicate his people and, and to bring us uh, our eternal inheritance as he also brings judgment down upon those who have opposed him. Just like he did in the Old Testament with these prophecies here against Tyre and Sidon. Um, so he does at the end of the age. But we, we do have a savior, a deliverer in Jesus, and that those who believe in him uh, will have salvation and eternal life. All right, we continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand. The day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us, that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, Claire, what announcements do you have today? Um, well, tomorrow we have youth tonight at 6, Thursday we have Mahjong at 10, and grief share at 7. We also have a pop blessing coming up on Sunday, so feel free to bring a treat. Not this Sunday, though. The 11th. The 11th. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but feel free to bring a treat to share, um, and yeah, don't think it's this Sunday like I did. Uh, but we do have sign-up sheets or sign-up slots available for after-service fellowship if you'd like to bring uh, a snack or some refreshments. So this past Sunday, we you know, had to quickly go to the store and buy something, but if you would like to do that, you can see that sign-up sheet and, and put your name down, and uh, it, it's always appreciated when people are able to, to donate, um, things like that. February the 14th is Ash Wednesday. We'll have a 7 p.m. service pre, uh, that will follow a 6 p.m. supper. And we do have somebody signed up for that slot. So I hope you can join us. And we'll be announcing the theme for that this coming Wednesday in the email newsletter. All right. That's all the announcements we have. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.